So we're going to be going over the hip thrust version if you are not in a gym. Um, you want to find a chair or a bench of some sort that when you get into position is right around the same height as your hips are at full extension. So what I mean by that is you're going to test it out by getting into position. Shoulders pushed in. And then at full lockout, right about here, we want to be nice and level. As you can see here, there's a downward slope, so the bench is slightly too high. What I would do here to modify is just put something under my feet so that when I am at full extension, it's nice and level, okay? From here, I'm just going to walk you through the four. So, Key things to keep in, in mind. Um, our hip extension in this movement is the best is the best position for those glutes to grow. So at the top of that thrust where we're squeezing the glutes and we're at full hip extension, that's where the magic is made. Okay, so as you find your place on your bench, you want to push your shoulder blades in, position yourself. You have your weight here on your hips. You want to posteriorly pel pelvic tilt. So instead of bringing the hips down like this, you're going to bring them up. And then as you thrust up, squeeze the glutes, keeping the eyes nice and forward. Yep. I'm moving over here. <laughs> Pushing through the heels. Another key thing to note is when we are at full extension, we want our shins to be nice and upright, meaning the knees are directly stacked over those heels. That's going to allow for the optimum position for that hip thrust. 